Good morning and welcome to Colorado. Uh, today we are going to be taking you on one of the raddest rides in the country uh, and that is Pikes Peak. If you have not yet, please click like and subscribe down below if you want to be caught up on 20 of the best rides in America. And I think uh, this Pikes Peak is probably going to make top 20. Oh, right, here we are. We are uh, in Colorado Springs. What's, what's this town called? Cascade. Cascade, which is basically the entrance to Pikes Peak. And the people riding with me today are going to be none other than veteran Good Rebecca. Morning. Rebecca is uh, not only the owner of Epic Eyewear, uh, which is why it is a veteran-owned company, but she's a veteran of our armed services. What service have I you... I am uh, Army National Guard, 12 years now. Whoo, that's a lot of years. So with me is Mr. King. How you doing today? How's it going? Doing good, you local here? Local, born and raised. How many times have you ridden Pikes Peak? Twice. Twice, this will be your third time. Yep. And you're doing it with a trailer? Doing it with a trailer. My wife and I like to, we started to pay it forward and we like giving kids toys. And so I said, what better way than having kids look at a trailer and being able to pick a prize out of it, so. Very cool. Oh yeah, man. So you keep oh, it loaded awesome. with goodies. So I just keep it loaded with goodies for toys. Love it. Where can people find you online? Uh, we're Bikers Blessing Kids on Facebook. You look a little nervous. I am a little nervous. Heights make me nervous, uh, so I always get nervous even if I'm driving up here, but this is gonna be a lot of fun and it's super beautiful, so I'm going for it and I'm gonna make it happen. How much experience <laughs> do you have on a motorcycle? Like, 1500 miles. I call it the little engine that could. The it's gonna be chugging up the mountain today. <laughs> <laughs> so Rebecca, I had a gift I wanted to give to you from Senna. This is their quick hookup for their helmets. That's awesome. And uh, you'll be able to put that in your helmet. We'll be able to talk Sweet. over on the ride. Thank you so a much. A little communication on these rides. That's going to help me on this one, yes, for sure. <laughs> it will. So let's get that put in your helmet. Great. Thank you we'll so much. So we're going to gear up with some cold weather gear, and uh, let's take you on the ride. So we are um, sitting at the entrance here, and uh, that's what you're going to deal with getting into this place. because they're under construction. So they're flagging everybody off, having us park right here. But we're only two miles from the top, and really this section here that we just went up is the best section. It's so gorgeous, I love it. And it was actually a really fun ride. I felt more comfortable on the curves than I thought I would, so I'm glad I did it. Well, I'm glad you did it too, Rebecca. Yeah. thank you so High much. Five. Got me up here, yeah. Yes. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, do the video recording. Everybody asks how I get that over the head shot. This is it right here, pretty simple.
I loved it. I'm so glad I did that. You recommend other people to do it? Absolutely. Don't be afraid. I'm about as new as they come when you're on a bike and I was totally comfortable. Just nice and easy. Well, Mr. King, thanks for taking the ride with us today. Definitely. That's My pleasure. Appreciate it, brother. And uh, keep doing good for those kids. Definitely. All right. So listen, why don't we go through and I'll give you a quick review on the road. Remember, these are just my opinions. You may like completely different things altogether, but my opinions on the road coming at you now. Okay, let's score this road. Number one is road surface. The road surface was really good, uh, as most state and national parks are. So road surface and condition, we are giving you a 10. The curves. That's one thing this road definitely has a lot of is good curves. There's some good sweeping curves and there's some tight hairpin curves. Overall, we are gonna score you a nine. Views, views is another one that is just out of this world. The views up here when you're on top and you're going up those hills and it looks like you're just looking off into the sky um, or when you're coming back down and you can see over all of Colorado, the views we must score you also a nine. Attractions, the Colorado Colorado Springs area is just full of stuff to do from Garden of the Gods to Pikes Peak to 4 x 4 and off-roading to hiking, biking, pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, they have it in this area when it comes to nature. So for attractions around this road, stuff you're going to be able to do outside of just riding that road, I am going to score this an 8. Traffic. Now this is one where we are going to have to give you a low score because your speeds and your ride are really dictated by the traffic on the road and unfortunately that traffic was horrible. For traffic we are going to give you a 4. Distance. Distance is another one that kind of scores low on my, uh, my way of ranking because uh, it's, you know, an 18 mile ride, even though today we only got to do 16, but 18 miles is not um, a long ride. As beautiful as it is and as great as it is, it's over like that. So for distance, I am going to have to score you a five. Uh, a great road, but not long enough for my taste. Well, if you've ridden the road, let me know down in the comments below if you agree with my rating on this road. And uh, you know what? Um, if you have not yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right, Rebecca? Absolutely. Subscribe. And uh, <laughs> Rebecca is, again, as I said, the owner of Epic Eyewear. Where do they find you online, Rebecca? EpicEyewear.com and on your website. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> Nothing better than sharing the road with good people and new friends. Until the next time, I hope you all stay safe out there on the road. And remember, dream until your dream come true.